Hey everybody, this is Brandon's Movie Corner, and this is a VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for January 7th, 2019, and this is my first movie update for 2019, and in this update I'm going to show a total of 5 VHS tapes, 5 DVDs, and 8 Blu-rays, and over the past week I've gotten all the movies I ordered from eBay and Amazon, and also on... Tuesday, January 1st, aka New Year's Day, I got a DVD and a Blu-ray at Dollar Tree. And on Friday, January 4th, I got one DVD and four Blu-rays at Walmart. And I will point out which days I got these movies on and where I got them from. So let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. And we're going to start off with the VHS tapes. This first one came in from eBay on Saturday. This is a Columbia Classics VHS. Part of the Studio Heritage Collection. Right here it says copyright 1928, renewed 1955. But this movie is actually from 1940, so I'm guessing the play of the front page came out in 1928, but the movie His Girl Friday is actually from 1940. The 50th week of 1998. This next one came in from eBay on December 31st, aka New Year's Eve. This is a pretty rare copy because this is a gift from Travel Lodge. This particular tape was apparently given away to people who stayed at Travel Lodge hotels back in 1994. There is an error on the sticker label. It says copyright 1966 right here, but this special is actually from 1974. It does say the right year right here. The 24th week of 1994. This next tape came in on Friday, also from eBay. This VHS was originally from 1991, but my copy is a reprint from 1998. And at the beginning, it does have the classic Paramount Moments promo from 1996, so it's obviously a reprint. Put it in the 44th week of 1998. And this next tape came in on New Year's Eve from eBay. I also do have the 1999 VHS of The First Predator, and I have the 2010 movie Predators on Blu-ray. There's also a fourth movie that came out last year called The Predator. Not sure if I'm going to get that one or not, but we'll see. The seventh week of 1992, but this still does have the original opening at the beginning. It's, it still has the CBS Fox Video logo on it. And now, here's the last VHS, which just came in from Amazon on Wednesday, January 2nd. This movie is very hard to find nowadays. Although I did hear that Sony Pictures Home Entertainment is actually going to be re-releasing this on Blu-ray soon. But I decided to go ahead and order it on VHS. Two print dates, December 17th, 1992 and December 18th, 1992. Even though this VHS is actually from 1993, it's an early printing. And this was a former rental, but I cannot tell you what the video store is that this was a rental from because the rental sticker is missing. That's it for the VHSs. And now on to the DVDs. Starting with the one that I got at Dollar Tree on New Year's Day.
the next three DVDs I received from Amazon on Thursday, January 3rd. And these are the other three Stars of Space Jam DVDs. I do also have the Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck ones, which those were shown in my update for December 18th, 2018. Now I got the other three. And now here's the last DVD, which I got at Walmart on Friday, January 4th. That's it for the DVDs. Now on to the eight Blu-rays. This first one came in from eBay on December 31st, New Year's Eve. And this Blu-ray was brand new when I got it. And this movie actually won the Oscar for Best Picture 2014. The slip cover opens up like this in the front. And it comes in a neat red case. Mm. And the digital HD code already expired on February 17th, 2018. But there it is anyway if anyone wants to try it. And it's got an ad for the movie Wild on the back. And this next Blu-ray came in from eBay today, and this one was also brand new sealed. Here's disc one with the movie and disc two with the special features. And it comes with this ad for BD Live. And next is one of the Blu-rays that I got at Walmart on Friday. So this means I now have all eight Harry Potter movies. I also have the first three on VHS and the fourth and fifth ones on DVD. Now I finally got the sixth, seventh, and eighth movies on Blu-ray. So some point this year I'm going to have to finally sit down and, and watch all the Harry Potter movies. I've only seen the first one and that's it, but sometime this year I will re-watch the first movie and then finally watch all the others. There's a disc for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, and the disc for Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Next is the Blu-ray that I got at Dollar Tree on New Year's Day.
Yep, here's the Blu-ray and the digital copy disc. And it's got that for the Sony Pictures Blu-ray Club and Sony Rewards. And the digital copy code which already expired on February 3rd, 2010. And here's the artwork inside the case. Now the next two are two other Blu-rays I got at Walmart on Friday. And this next one is a movie that I saw in theaters back in early October 2018. And this was a pretty funny movie. If anyone wants the digital code, you know the drill. Same thing if you want the um, free movie code, which expires on March 22nd, 2019. Here's the first Blu-ray which has the movie and the second Blu-ray disc with the special features and here's the DVD. Now the next Blu-ray is the last one that I got from eBay. This came in on New Year's Eve and this is my very first Criterion Collection Blu-ray. I do have a few Criterion DVDs, but this is the first Criterion Blu-ray that I have, and this one was used. This movie is in Japanese with English subtitles, and I know this is considered to be one of the greatest movies of all time, so I am definitely going to have to give this a watch at some point. Here's disc one with the film, and disc two with the supplements or the special features. And here's the inside artwork. And it comes with this um, book, which I'm going to flip through quickly. I'm not going to show the entire book, but I'm just going to flip through it quickly. Give you a little brief look at it. Do hope to get more Criterion Collection Blu-rays one of these days. Hold on. That was a little bit hard to get back in. And now the last Blu-ray, which is the last one that I got at Walmart on Friday. Here's the Blu-ray and the DVD. And I would give you the digital HD code, but Take a look at this. This actually does not have a code on it for some odd reason. Guess Universal just forgot to put a code on it. But it's alright. I don't need the digital code anyway. And on the back it advertises the other Illumination movies that were out at the time. So I have Despicable Me and the Lorax on DVD. And I have Despicable Me 2, Minions, and The Secret Life of Pets on Blu-ray. And I have no interest in getting Hop. I'm going to pass on that movie. And there you have it, guys. 
That's going to do it for my VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray update for January 7th, 2019, which is my first movie update 2019. And I did order two more VHS tapes and a DVD from eBay, plus a Blu-ray from Amazon this afternoon, which those will be listed down in the comments below. Plus, I still have that one DVD that I pre-ordered from Amazon um, the same time I ordered everything else shown in this video. So, I will tell you what that is again in the comments as well. So, that's it for the update. This is Brandon's Movie Corner signing off.